The battle over Jordan Chile's Olympic bronze medal is far from over, as her legal team takes the dispute to Switzerland's highest court. On Monday, Chile's attorneys announced they have formally filed an appeal with the Swiss Federal Tribunal, contesting the results of the women's floor exercise final at the 2024 Paris Olympics. This follows an earlier ruling by the Court of Arbitration for Sport, SAWS, that led to Chile's losing her podium position. Her lawyers are urging the tribunal to overturn CAS's decision, which stripped her of the bronze medal. Initially, Chile's was awarded the bronze medal after successfully challenging the judge's score on one element of her floor routine. However, days later, CAS ruled that her coach's inquiry had been submitted four seconds too late, relegating her to fifth place. As a result, the International Olympic Committee, IOC, requested that Chile's return her medal, and the bronze was instead awarded to Anna Barbosu of Romania, who was elevated to third place. Jordan Chile's appeal presents a simple but critical question to the international community, said Maurice Su, Chile's attorney, in a statement. Will they allow an Olympic athlete, who acted rightly and within the rules, to be unfairly stripped of her medal because of a flawed arbitration process? The answer should be no fair play should extend to every aspect of the Olympics, including arbitration. In addition to the current appeal, Chile's legal team plans to file further petitions seeking alternative remedies from the Swiss Federal Supreme Court. They argue that the case should be retried before CAS, giving Chile's the opportunity to present crucial evidence, namely video footage, that shows her coach's inquiry was submitted within the required time frame. The appeal to Switzerland's highest court is a rare legal maneuver in sports disputes. CAS typically has the final say in such matters, especially when it involves international sports bodies. However, Chile's lawyers argue that the CAS ruling was procedurally flawed in two significant ways. First, they claim that Chile's right to be heard was violated because CAS refused to consider new video evidence proving the timely submission of the inquiry. Second, they allege a conflict of interest involving Hamid Garavi, the head of the arbitration panel, who had represented Romania in other proceedings. Given these issues, Chile's legal team has requested that the Swiss tribunal reinstate the original score that secured her the bronze medal. The appeal also received support from the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Committee, USOPC, which has been highly critical of CAS's handling of the case. The USOPC and USA Gymnastics argue that they were not properly informed of the legal proceedings and that critical video evidence, which surfaced after the CAS ruling, was unjustly ignored. We are determined to ensure Jordan receives the recognition she deserves, the USOPC said in a statement, criticizing CAS's failure to consider the new evidence and highlighting the procedural errors that led to Chile's losing her medal. The dispute centers on a razor-thin margin, just one-tenth of a point in the floor exercise final, which determined whether Chile's or Barbasu would take home the bronze. Chile's and her coaches believed that the 23-year-old gymnast was not awarded full credit for a split-leap element in her routine, known as a tour jeté full. Her coach, Cecile Landy, filed an inquiry, leading to a review that added 0.10 points to Chile's score and initially placed her in third. However, the Romanian Gymnastics Federation later challenged the timing of the inquiry, claiming it was filed four seconds beyond the one-minute deadline. CAS sided with the Romanian Federation and ordered the International Gymnastics Federation, FIG, to revise the final standings, which led to the IOC demanding the return of Chile's medal. Despite not being named directly in the initial complaint, Chile's, USA Gymnastics, and the USOPC were involved as, interested parties, in the arbitration process. The FIG acknowledged during the CAS hearing that they lacked a formal mechanism to confirm whether scoring inquiries were submitted on time. FIG admitted it had accepted Chile's inquiry under the assumption that it was timely filed. For Chile's, the fight has become about much more than a medal. Speaking at the Forbes Power Women's Summit last week, she revealed the emotional toll the ordeal has taken on her. My heart was broken by this process, she said. At this point, it's not really about the medal, it's about my peace and my justice. Despite the legal challenges ahead, Chile's and her team remain determined to see her rightful achievement restored. Both the USOPC and USA Gymnastics have vowed to continue supporting her in the pursuit of justice.